contact. You don't need a fuse, ignite, or a spark plug to launch this thing. When the fuel comes in contact with the oxidizer, this thing takes off. One of them has a locking mechanism. If this one can't open, none of them can open. The only way to open it is to put that combination in. If you go out there and manually try to open it, there's an explosive charge. This thing will melt. The missile will never work. You need the combination. We don't have it. The base doesn't have it. Pentagon has it. You'll only ever see this code if it's an actual order to launch this thing. That's the only time. Clockwise, hold it for five seconds until I tell you let it go. Three, two, one, launch. All right, good to go. You can let go. You did what the Air Force paid you for. <laughs> You've just joined World War Three, however. If the president calls right now, there's no stopping this thing, folks. There's no oops button. There's no self-destruct. This thing is going, unless there's a problem. The next light, first light is launch enabled. That means it's checked. Everything's a go. Second light, batteries activated. There's two batteries on that missile being forced red electrolyte for the first time. It takes 28 seconds to fill them. Once it's powered up, we get ABS power. That means it's on its own. It's making its own electricity. It doesn't need help with the control center anymore. Silo soft. The door just lifted up, slid open, went through the tipsy, set off the alarm. The silo is wide open now. The next light is guidance go. The guidance computer is talking to this thing called the McGack for the last time. Make sure it knows where it's going, how to get there, what to do once it gets there. Fire engines, the butterfly valves are open, the two fuels are mixed, that thing is lit up. Engulfed in flames out there, all your fire alarms are going off, Captain. When the missile gets to 77% of its full thrust, the four explosive bolts that hold it down explode. And the tiny two starts lumbering up out of the hull. And then two seconds later, Captain, lift off. It's gone. 58 seconds, folks. That's all it takes. 58 seconds to end the world. Now, the previous missile, Titan 1, took 30 minutes to launch. Once they got the message, you would have to fill it up with fuel, raise it on an elevator out of the ground, try to launch it. We only have five minutes before one's going to hit us. Not a great deterrent. As long as we can keep that at 60 degrees, that fuel will stay stable indefinitely, ready to go at a moment's notice. It only took three minutes from the time you got that message to the time this actually left. That only gives us two minutes to say our prayers down here, Captain. 